Hey family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This story is so freaking bizarre. So welcome to the mental health. And you can really see just how crazy people really, really are. Um, because there's really no excuse for this. I have no idea what made this lady think that she could actually be so emboldened. Um, and I guess the guy said, it's over me now. It's above me now. A Michigan woman accused of hitting a used car salesman in the face and using racial slurs multi faces multiple charges, including ethnic intimidation, according to uh, WXMI. The charges stem from an April 24th incident at Better Baker GMC in Lowell. According to the court documents, Sherry Hucknell, Huckle of Nashville, backhanded a used car salesman who is black after he appraised her vehicle. She got upset and told me that I was a scammer, said the alleged victim, Terrence Smith. She told me to take my scamming black ass back inside and go and find her title. Smith said the dealership had appraised her 2005 F-150 at $3,500. Hecknell did not feel the appraisal was enough and said other location had appraised the vehicle for more. I get inside the building to go get her title. I turn around, Smith said, and when I hand her her title, she backhanded me and continued to swing in the midst of all of that. She knocked my glasses off my face. Smith said Huck, Huck Kell also repeatedly used the nigger word while swinging at him. So, I'm standing there. I'm just in shock as this is happening to me, he said. You better stop being in shock with these fools. Originally, Hucknell was charged with assault and battery days after the incident. On Tuesday, Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker said after looking at the report filed by the police and further follow-up, he determined that more serious charge of ethnic intimidation was warranted. Hucknell faces up to two years in prison and a maximum possible fine of 5000 if convicted. The assault charges carries a potential 93 days in jail and a possible fine of up to $500. I mean, I, I, I don't know what we can start doing other than finding these people, uh, suing them, charging them with money. Because I do believe that racism is a mental illness. It is a sickness that needs to be... Um, contained and since you know it's not that simple you have to treat its carriers like that they have the plague because they have a psycho virus that is very detrimental to the human family so I believe if you suffer from racism like that then you need to be ostracized you need to be put somewhere off to the side where people don't have to deal with you. You should never have to work in a job where you face other ethnicities or anything like that. You need to be down in the basement somewhere by yourself where you can let all your hateful, evil, vindictive, poisonous crap infect nobody but yourself. And with that being said, like, subscribe, and share if you choose to. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this lady and what should have happened to her. What should happen to her? Do you think this is just or unjust? Her um, deciding she can slap somebody or backhand them. It, it, tell me what you think about it. I'll see you in the next video.